I'm Lisa Tant, Editor-in-Chief of Flair Magazine. It's the last day of L'Oreal Fashion Week and what a week it's been. Today we're at the Four Seasons Hotel for a very exclusive launch of Pink Tartan's Spring 2008 collection. If you don't have a ticket, don't worry about it. You're here with Flair. Let's go have a look. We're back at the Four Seasons Hotel with Eddie Maltier just minutes before the Pink Tartan show. Eddie, can you tell us about the look we're, we're creating for Pink Tartan? Yes, it's very simple, beautiful look. Um, we put a uh, powder, Bare Natural Powder Foundation, and after, we put a lot, lot of false eyelashes because she would like to exaggerate the, the, the eyes, but very softly, minimalist. And uh, after, we just put it one little touch of uh, gloss, very natural gloss, to give the the focus on the eye. That's it. And it's a look for Peter. Eric, tell us about the look today. Morning, how are you? Good morning. It's uh, Pink Tartan always picks a beautiful, fresh, very clean look in keeping with the spring and summer season. We're doing just a very nice, clean blow dry. No flat iron, just a very straight uh, look, just with the blow dryer. With the blow dryer, just a nice, dry look very springy, very fresh, very young. We have a finished model. Well, she was here a few minutes ago. I guess she's, <laughs> she's off on spring break. seasons after a wonderful Pink Tartan show. Kim, congratulations. Thank you, Lisa. It was so you. Now I know, are you your own muse? Well, no, not really, but I do really love the clothes that I create. I, I try them on. I'm, I'm very involved in the fittings. I fit all of our pieces because it's really important that they feel as good as they look on the body. And, um, you know, I, I love I love sort of elegant fashion, so I would wear most of the pieces in the collection. And I think that's what's so key is it's elegant, it's wearable, but it's very feminine and appropriate. Yeah, I, absolutely. And you know what? Women really feel good. They get this sense of confidence and this sense of elegance when they wear pink tartan. And I think that that is my biggest compliment. We are back with Eddie, who's creating the face of Paul Hardy. Eddie, can you tell us about the look you're creating? Yes, for, uh, the inspiration from Paul Hardy was to have the idea of the dancer who's not very ready, but they have real soul. So they are in preparation to do the, their makeup before the show. We're backstage with Eric Delmonico, who's the visionary behind the hair we'll be seeing on the runways of Paul Hardy. Eric, can you tell us about the look of the show? This is a, it's a beautiful look, and the whole hair team is really excited about this look. Uh, it, this young lady here has very short hair, so it was actually quite easy to do, but uh, the rest of the models have very long, long hair. So what we've done is just uh, done a lot, we just did a lot of back combing and just created just some big, messy shapes. And then uh, Paul's given us this beautiful scarf to just wrap around and wrap around with some pins showing. So it's kind of like a, a, a rough and delicate look at the same time.
I'm backstage with Paul Hardy after an incredible collection of all of the designers showing at Fashion Week this week. Paul is one of the few who's a real artist. Well, thank you. <laughs> That's nice of you to say. <laughs> but I found the collection, it wasn't just about clothes you can wear to work, but there was a lot of thought into the colors, the designs. What was your thought behind that whole show? I wanted to draw off of the references of all the things that sort of make me smile, you know, and and um, and I thought rather than focusing on kind of a commercial ready-to-wear type of pieces, it would be nice to think outside the box and really kind of expand and challenge myself to design a runway line um, that has elements and details of things that all carry down to the ready-to-wear and so it really became kind of diversifying um, you know mainstream fashion with um, you know a more editorial artful type of thing It's the end of another fantastic L'Oreal Fashion Week here in its brand new location in Nathan Phillips Square in downtown Toronto. We've seen some incredible designs this week that are coming up for next spring and I'm really glad to have you here as my guest, front row seat at L'Oreal Fashion Week.